So, so I would like to ask, just for a remaining 10 minutes, I'd like, and then we're going to have ministry teams. I would like to ask for you to come forward. We're going to form an ecclesia. And we're going to very quickly just decree over these, these 10 sons. If you've never been a part of this before or something like this, this is an intercessory capacity. Move all the way to the front so that we can have people that can just move in. Just by being here, you're part of an ecclesia. An ecclesia is a legal framework. It's a courtroom. It's a courtroom in heaven. Okay? So we're going to deal with these ten sons. Now let me just find their names up here someplace. Okay? Because actually, oh, we do. You should judiciously, okay? So I'm going to read you, I'm going to initially just read you Haman's ten sons. And the rabbis, when they read these ten sons, it's interesting because they read all their names in one breath. And the reason they read them in one breath, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down later, but I'm going to read it for you in one breath, is because it signifies all ten came down at once. It's like, you know, when something shifts, it's like the dominoes fall. And the dominoes are getting ready to fall. Let me say that again. The dominoes are, the, 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 the head domino has already, been, has already been pushed. The dominoes are falling. Whether you're seeing it yet or not, the dominoes are falling. Things are changing. Things are shifting. Things aren't going back to the way they were before. I'm telling you that there's been a shift in the spirit. Haman's ten sons have been hung. The principalities and powers have been paraded. That Jesus has triumphed over them. And I'm telling you that we're just coming into a new season. So let me read these names. Okay, just lift your hands up. And let me see if I can do it, okay? All right, so we decree. Parshandatha, Dal, Dalphon, Aspatha, Paratha, Adalia, Aridatha, Parmashatha, Arisa, Aridai, and Vajasatha are all coming down at once in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's just real quickly, we're going to go through these, okay? The first, the first guy, his name was Parshandatha. I'm probably not saying them right, but these are Persian words, and you wouldn't know the difference anyway, so... Parshandatha, this, so, so these are Persian names, so you, so you can't really just look them up in the Strong's and find out what they mean. So I, I went in and I studied what some different rabbinical scholars, Winona helped me, Winona wave at me back there, Winona helped do a lot of research. Um, and we, we researched this out because different rabbis have different takes on what their names actually mean. So I, I selected one of the rabbis and, and mixed some of the others in, but this is what they believe these ten sons represent. Parshandatha means it distances a person from the scriptures. It's a spirit of distraction. Now, as I read these out, if it strikes a chord with you, like, ooh, that's been affecting me, quickly just repent of it and take authority over it, okay? So it's a spirit of distraction. It's the Laodicea spirit, the lukewarm spirit. It's a spirit of apathy, complacency, and spiritual slumber. And let me just say this. If there's ever been a time in your life when you love Jesus more than you love him right now, you need revival. And if you feel like this is affecting you, I'm telling you, as we just make, make a decree, we're going to believe that this is going to come off of you and that the spirit of slumber that has kept the church asleep, that has kept the righteous asleep, is going to be broken off and they're going to they're begin to hear. They're going to begin to see. Um, and so I'm going to make a decree and you're going to say, woe, because Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1 says, woe unto those who decree unrighteous decrees, okay? So we're going to say that together and then I'm going to decree things. Just lift your hands up together, okay? To the spirit of slumber and apathy, to complacency over the state of Florida, over the church, and over the United States of America, we say woe. We decree revival fires will break out all over the state. We decree this throughout the state in Jesus' name from the north to the south to the east to the west, from Pensacola to Tallahassee to Jacksonville to Orlando, Miami to Key West. We decree it in Jesus' name. We take back the spirit of awakening and revival in this state. We take back passion and purpose, and we decree Florida to be the forerunner state in righteousness in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a shout. Yeah. My husband wants to hit this ballot so bad, uh, but it's a glass pulpit, okay? Number two, Dalphon. They believe it means the door to wrong intentions. A person performing religious duties who does so with wrong intentions. 
having a form but no power, the hireling spirit, the religious spirit, and the Saul spirit, okay? So tonight, lift your hands to the religious spirit that has a form of godliness but denies the power thereof. We all say, whoa! Whoa! No more playing church. The ecclesia is arising in power in this state and in this nation. We are legislating in the spirit and we are shifting things in the atmosphere and pulling that shifted atmosphere down into the earth to break it open. We decree right now that Pentecostal fire is going to burn in our churches again. We decree churches are going to shift from a church mentality to an ecclesia mentality. We decree this state in the Bible Belt is not going to give in to religion but is going to be a champion for reformation and the new thing in Jesus name we decree it and the ecclesia said amen Amen. number three aspatha aspatha means gathering but it means the enticed gathered the rabbis speak of a gathering gathering money more than focusing on the study of Torah that's that distraction again but it's that why are you doing what you're doing but it also speaks of unrighteous gathering against God as in the days of the tower of Babel. How many know God said they they were in unity and there was nothing impossible to them, but it was not a godly unity. So this really represents an unrighteous false unity and rewriting the rules of what's acceptable. You know what that is? That's cancel culture. That's the mob mentality that we're dealing with today. And so to the spirit of false unity, cancel culture, and the mob mentality, we say, whoa, we will not give in to your intimidation or the spirit of fear. We will not back down or be silent, but we will hold the line for righteousness and be to see it restored in our land once again. And everybody here said amen and amen. amen. Number four, Poratha. Name means frustration or fruitfulness. It's an interesting one. For some reason, the rabbis spelled this one backwards, and they say that it speaks of a woman's private parts and a lustful desire to look at it. This is the spirit of sexual perversion, the LGBTQ XYZ agenda, the pornography issue, spirit of Jezebel. You know, Jezebel's issue is it's never about sex. It's about control. If it can get its talons in you, it can control you. It can keep you from being what God's called you to be. So, lift your hands again. Sedu- spirit of seduction, sex trafficking, hate to say it, sex trafficking, human trafficking happens right here in this area, okay? To the spirit of Jezebel, driving sexual perversion, alternate lifestyles, and the attempts of indoctrination of our children, we say, whoa. whoa. You are coming down from your throne of wickedness in Washington, D.C., and from every place here in Florida as well. We repent of the idolatry of sex and sexual confusion that is silencing the voice of the church in this state. We repent of human trafficking, sex trafficking that's gone on in this state. We decree Florida will be a state of morality, purity, and raising the standard of righteousness. We take back purity. We take back wholesomeness. We take back wholesome programming That is going to be produced here in the film industry in Florida. No more woke productions here in Florida. We decree to the movie industry, shift. We decree to Disney, shift. And everybody said, amen. Amen. Number five, Adalia. It means from the word, it means to be lifted up. It's pride, haughtiness, arrogance. Leviathan is called the king of the children of pride. It speaks of crooked communication. It's a resistance to revival. It's rooted in arrogance. It hates revival. To the spirit of Leviathan, the king over the children of pride, arrogance, haughtiness, deceit, we say, whoa. We decree your crooked ways in government, your antichrist agenda, and your resistance of the purposes of God are being broken to pieces. Come on, pray in the spirit with me. The Lord has put a hook in your jaw and will expose all your corrupt dealings in elections. Come on, it will expose all the corrupt dealings in elections, distribution of money, backroom deals, and all crooked connections of corruption with D.C. Leviathan, your time has come. We decree right now 
now. Miscommunication and disconnection of relationships. We decree that, God, you are dealing with Leviathan. God, you are smiting Leviathan. You are cutting off the heads of Leviathan, and you are piercing him and destroying him, Father. God, we repent of our own pride, of our own self-will, of our own independence. But, God, we ask you to put a hook in his jaw and to deal with Leviathan in this state, Father God, and in this nation. And all the people of God said, amen, amen. amen. Hit it again, Pastor Tom. There you go. All right. Number six, Aradatha. This one is interesting. It means the lion of the decree. How many understand that there's, there's righteous lions and there's roaring lions? And there's been a, a roaring lion in our media, in our movies, in there's a voice war. I don't have time to get into that, but I will say this is that a couple of, oh, Josh, you just made my husband so happy. You get new stars in your crown, okay? He feels so empowered, okay? <laughs> We've just created a monster, okay? <laughs> All right, so a few, year, a few years ago, I had this dream, and I, I can't preach on it, but let me just say that I had this dream of this assignment that was coming to attack righteous reformers. And the, in the dream, the person's name was Rapsheka. And, um, and, and it literally just beat the leader until the leader broke. And so I looked up, I, at first when I woke up, I wrote the dream down and I thought Rabshakeh was maybe a reggae band or something. I really didn't know what it was. Um, and then I went in the Bible and I found that he was the guy that when Sennacherib laid siege to Jerusalem, Hezekiah was the king, and he, uh, 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 Sennacherib laid, the Assyrian king laid siege to Jerusalem. Um, Rabshakeh was his mouthpiece. He was his voice. He was the, the emissary. And what he did is he stood at the walls of Jerusalem day and night and just shouted into the atmosphere, your situation is hopeless. God's not going to save you. Your leaders aren't going to save you. You just need to give up. You just need to lay it down. Do, quit trying to fight. Quit trying. Yeah, what's that? A all kinds of accusation, just day and night, just filling the atmosphere getting in their heads don't let the devil get in your heads I went through a terrible time where I had an encounter with this thing and it was unlike anything I've ever experienced before it was the most relentless mind game the, that I've ever that I've ever walked through and since we shared that dream pastors leaders business leaders people that are successful they've been through this and let me just say COVID some of you that might have had COVID and you felt a little crazy during the time, this was behind that. I mean, it, it filled the atmosphere with accusations, okay? We had to literally break people out of places where they just were like, well, I guess it's my time to go. We're like, no, it's not your time to go. Spirit of death. So spirit of death and destruction. So this is um, the mouthpiece of, of the enemy bringing accusations. And so lift up your hands and just pray in the spirit with me right now. If you've been dealing with this at all, if you've been dealing with some of these mind games, just put a hand on your head because tonight we're going to break it off right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. To the mouthpiece of Satan, to Rabshakeh, to the spirit of besiegement, to the spirit of accusation and lies, to this relentless voice war in the spirit, to depression and hopelessness. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, we say, whoa. We will not give up. We will not quit. We will press the battle to the full. And you will be ensnared by the words of your own mouth. Your curses are being turned back on your head in Jesus' name. And by the authority of the blood of Jesus and his voice that shatters the enemy, we take back our voice now in Jesus' name. You have given us a sound mind. We take back clear revelation, clear information. We thank you, God, for doubling and tripling our revelation now. Where the enemy came in and tried to attack our minds we just decree now god you're giving us double and triple revelation and new manifestation of spiritual uh, understanding father and discernment in jesus name and everybody said Amen. Amen. now just shake that slimy depression off of you right now right now in jesus name number seven parmas parmashta parmashta listen to what it means it rips apart the strong connection that exists between jews it's a spirit of division, isolation, families being torn apart 
by political ideologies, friendships being destroyed because of who you vote for, strife, division. So this is a spirit of politi a spir political spirit of division. Their idea is divide and conquer. So let's lift up our hands. We're getting, you know, we're, we're coming into the mid, we're getting ready to do the whole midterm election thing, but the next two years are going to be nasty. If y'all think the last couple cycles have been bad, this one's going to be worse, okay? But we don't have to let it destroy us, okay? We've got really, really good friends that voted for the other guy. We've got family members that voted for the other guy. And guess what? We're going to love them anyway, we're going to have to love them harder, maybe. <laughs> Come on. So lift your hands up. To the political spirit of division, of strife, of, of isolation, of contention. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that, that assignment to divide and conquer families, to divide and conquer churches, marriages, businesses, friendships, to that spirit of division, we say, whoa. Whoa. We decree eyes to be open to the lies. We decree you will be hung on the very gallows prepared for the righteous. We take back family unity. We take back strong marriages. We take back the younger generation. We take back our children. We take back college campuses. We decree revival on college campuses that will drive out the woke agenda and ideology. We decree a new conservative awakened generation is arising in schools and the campuses of Florida. We decree let the spirit of righteousness arise in the younger generation to fight for what is right, to fight for God's ways. They're going to love fiercely but also be tenacious in the spirit to war and contend. And the people of God said, amen, amen. Whew. Eh. Okay. Number eight, erisai means to continually poison a person with the venom of a snake. This can't be good. It was the snake that said, hath God said, seducing spirit of witchcraft and the occult. The serpent in Hebrew actually means to hiss or to whisper a spell. So lift your hands up right now. Father, to every occult spirit, to every spirit of witchcraft, to every hex and vex, to every spell that's been cast. Lord, I, Lord, I even see that as sometimes at night when we turn on the news, God, they're casting a spell. They may, not, they may know or they may not know, but God, they're casting a spell. They're spreading lies. They're casting spells. They're, blind, they're bringing blindness. But to that spirit of witchcraft, to that spirit of deception, to that spirit of seduction, we say, whoa. We decree no weapon formed against the ecclesia, against the state of Florida, against our governor Ron DeSantis, or against the United States of America can prosper. Every hex, vex, and curse is coming to nothing. As a matter of fact, the curse is being turned to a blessing because God is up to something. We decree that light will shine in the darkness and divine reversals are taking place. We decree it now in Jesus' name. Let's decree decree amen and amen. Number nine, eridai. Eridai means the evil that subjugates a righteous person with suffering and worrying about their livelihood. Or recession, yes. It's a spirit of fear, intimidation, and anxiety. And if you think you're immune from this, wake up. It's an assignment against your mind. Reasonable fear, we partner with it. Oh, that's reasonable to be afraid. No. <laughs> no. My husband says, be anxious for nothing. That's right. So to every spirit of fear, lift your hands up to every spirit of fear, intimidation, anxiety. In Jesus' name, we say, whoa. We decree an emboldened ecclesia is rising to do signs, wonders, and miracles. No more fear or timidity. We decree mega dunamis. We decree mega grace, mega boldness, God. We are going to be even more bold. We are going to be even more risky, God. We are going to be more cutting edge. We are going to press into your spirit, and we are going to pave the way for the future in Jesus' name. And everybody said... Amen. Amen. The last one, Vizatha. Vizatha means the bitterness of the olive, symbolizing bitter 
and strong judgment. Victimhood, bitterness, hatred, and it takes over the whole person with a spirit of false justice and rebellion. We all want justice. God is a God of justice. His throne is established on justice. But some of the stuff that's happening today is not justice. It's, it's A, not constitutional. B, it's not justice. So we're going to cry out for justice. The Bible tells us to cry out for justice. Amen. Justice for the oppressed. And come on, we're going to do it. So we decree to every spirit of false justice and rebellion against bitterness, hatred, against that which tries to bind the mind and twist the soul and twist the spirit, we say, whoa. We decree this, and, and then this last one we're going to do together. Just you can flip to the next one, and we're going to say this one together on this last screen. All right. We decree the spirit of life and truth and the anointing of wisdom and justice will rise as the shoulders of God's government in the United States of America. We decree Haman and all his sons are being hung on the gallows of righteousness and that a brand new Purim season of celebration, breakthrough, and rejoicing has come. It is a time of divine reversals in the United States of America and, oh, I'm sorry, of divine reversals of revival and replevin for the United States of America and the forerunner state of Florida in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen and amen. Now, I want you to lift your hands up. And, Father, I just decree replevin over every person here, God. Whatever has been stolen from them, whatever that Amalekite spirit came after them on a personal level, God, we know that what you're saying is bigger than just the individual. But, God, you always are concerned about the individual. So there are people here tonight that need miracles. They need turnarounds. They need shifts, Lord. They need breakthroughs. They need things, God, to begin to come into alignment and divine order. God, the same way that <laughs> that those gallows were made to hang the righteous God you were actually just giving the devil enough rope to hang himself and so Lord we decree that a lot of the things that we've been facing God are being turned they're being they're being uh, they're being completely turned around and we decree that season of boomerang where it's going to boomerang all the corruption all the evil all the things done in darkness God are going to boomerang back on the enemy's own head we decree it now we believe it father and we will pray into it and we will stand our ground recognizing God it's a new season of promotion God that as the Haman's, Haman's ten sons were hung Esther was promoted Mordecai was promoted and God it, us, it ushered in a whole new day for God's people to be blessed to be influencers and to move into their kingdom destiny we decree that for your ecclesia now Father in Jesus mighty name and the people of God said amen and amen turn around and give somebody a high five